Good morning from sunny Bangkok, Thailand. Today, I'm right across the street from Chowder Chak Market. That is not where we're going. We're gonna to go to a vintage market across the street and check it out and, oh man, I think it's closed. Oh my God, you gotta be kidding me. Did I show up here too early? Is it not open yet? Ah, uh, it's gonna be one of those days. All right, let's just roll with it. So yeah, this is definitely gonna be one of those not as planned videos and that's okay. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I get lost a lot. I go to places that are closed, but we still make the best of it. So we're gonna be walking through this vintage market here, at least looking at the few vendors that are open. Something you don't see often are these old push button dial phones. Hello, YouTube? Yeah, I, I need more subscribers. Oh, you will? Well, that's great, thanks so much. But man, it's 10 o'clock and the vintage market here is not open. I still don't quite understand how the vintage market, thrift markets work here in Thailand. In the US, markets would open at 8 a.m., but there'd be people there at 6 a.m., at 5 a.m. with flashlights looking for stuff, and here, they start at like 10, 11, noon. So people definitely are not early birds at these vintage markets. Very different than the US. Tell me about where you live. Do people show up at these kind of markets early or are they also very late to them and just very laissez-faire, not really giving a damn? That has got to be the creepiest ET mask I have ever seen. It looks like ET's girlfriend. This guy's definitely got some really cool stuff like those two old phones over there. But what I'm really interested in is this 1984 Ghostbusters piece. The owner's not around, so I have no idea how much it is, nor do I know what I would do with it. But man, that's just a cool piece. We have old phones and we have ET masks. So I guess ET could phone home. And of course, as in all of my videos, I'll put the links to this location and everywhere else we go down in the description below. I really don't have the place for it, but I've always loved these old cabinets for filing stuff. They are just so cool. I would use it for keeping knickknacks and, well, I don't have anything anymore, so it'd be absolutely useless to me. But they're really cool cabinets. That is a really cool old pedal car. Kind of looks like an old Austin or a Morris, maybe. We've got some really nice old bikes. Of course, a little Red Flyer looking wagon. And this Jeep over here, this thing is really, really cool. Wow, that would be such a neat little display piece. I don't know if you can see it, but he's actually sticking his tongue out of his mouth into the bowl of water and ice cubes. Poor little guy. Huskies are definitely not meant for this weather here in Thailand. Lots of really cool vintage, retro, 1960s, 1970s, even mid-century furniture here. There's definitely some really cool stuff. And, you know, if you're looking for a lamp for your operating table, we can get you that here as well. There's a whole nother section here out front, but as you can see, there's no vendors here today. So I have no idea why nobody's here, but that's the way it rolls. And I would really love to find out the prices of some things because, you know, since I was a dealer of vintage toys, vintage electronics for so many years, I should say decades actually, that to me, it's just interesting to find out how much some of these things are. But on the brighter side, I met my biggest fan here of all time. It's right down there. That, that's, that's my biggest fan. Are you my biggest fan? I don't know. I think that's my biggest fan. <laughs> I know I was making jokes about the ET masks and the telephones and phoning home and well, look what I found. I literally did find ET right here. He's just hanging out, waiting to phone home. There's lots of phones here. The Bang Su Junction Mall is the mall that has all these vintage dealers in front and I think there's vintage stuff inside. So let's go inside and take a look, see if anything's open in here. So this thing's actually really cool. It's not just a Pac-Man machine. It is a multiple arcade machine emulator. It has dozens and dozens of different games on it. And these things are really cool. There's really not much downstairs. So let's go to the second floor and see if more of these stores are open. 
most of the things I'm seeing here on the second floor are more of what I would consider antique. A lot of furniture and things like that. Still, not a lot of these vendors are open and I'm just gonna take a quick walk through. This isn't really the kind of stuff I'm looking for. And then we have to move on and find something else to do today since uh, what I came here to film is not really working out. Don't get me wrong, if you like this kind of decor, if you like old china, if you like vintage furniture, this is definitely the place for you. Um, not really what I'm looking for, but still always fun to come and check out a new mall. And sometimes you never know what you might find hidden in uh, some of these places. Um, like, like that thing with the antlers and I have no idea what kind of animal that was supposed to be. I think that's going to do it for me here at this mall. We're going to have to go find something else to do because most of it's still closed and well, it's not quite the things I'm looking for. A few more vendors have shown up to display their goods. It's amazing how people just leave things here and nothing gets stolen. In the US and the West, all of this would be stolen instantly. I love that about the Thai people. They just trust each other and I don't think it even crosses their mind to do those things. Look, I'm not naive. I know there's people here that will do bad things. I'm not like stupid by any means, but for the most part, they do absolutely respect each other and I love that about the country, Thailand. To give you guys a little perspective, right there is the Bangsu shopping market and in front of it is the vintage market and literally across the street is Chatter Chak market. Uh, won't be going there today because I don't think it's that full. And then right over here is a whole nother row of vintage and antique stalls but most of them are closed so we're gonna continue on and see what else we can find. And this guy here, antiques, uh, it's in Thai, I don't know what it says but he has got some really, really cool stuff. I mean, this is really the kind of stuff I was hoping to see. And what is that? Is that like a giant croc? No idea, but look, he's got some cool old TVs. We've got a Mercedes-Benz 300 SL. This is a convertible version. Uh, Marilyn Monroe, he's got an old light. Oh man, this is so cool. And he's got Ratfink up there. Looks like uh, we got the Hulk. Uh, we got the Green Lantern. I don't remember the red guy, and I'm drawing a blank on the guy with the green hair. I'm sure one of you guys know, but some really, really cool vintage stuff in here. Really liking this booth. And just like that, use the MRT station to cross over. And now I'm over here at the Ortor Core Premium Food Market. Supreme Premium Premium Food Market. I've made a video about this place before, so you can take a look at that. But they have a really good food court, so I think I'm gonna pop back in and grab something to eat real quick. Pretty sure I ordered number 13, the stir-fried mixed seafood, pork, chicken, shrimp, and squid. And you know, if I'm wrong and I get something else, that's okay, I'm sure it'll be delicious. No, well, it looks like I got just what I ordered, which is the mixed seafood with rice, and I already dumped a bunch of chilies on it. And like a big dummy, my wireless mic is almost dead because I forgot to charge the charging case. So we're gonna have to use the uh, good old microphone here for the rest of this uh, video probably, or at least the uh, iPhone mic. Anyhow, um, the food looks really good. Uh, it's not a big portion, but I'm gonna chow down on this, enjoy it, and then we will continue on. As you can see, I already dumped a bunch of chili in here. Let's give it a try. So it's squid, mixed seafood, I think chicken. I have no idea. Mmm. Really good. Oh, that's spicy. I dumped uh, half this cup of chili in there. I'm getting better at it. I'm gonna enjoy this meal, and then we're gonna keep going, see what else we can find today. It was a pretty good dish, a little on the small size, and you know, obviously very salty, but now I need to get across this waterway, and I don't think there is a way to do it here. So I need to be on the other side. Uh, should we go for a swim? I'm just joking, I, no, no, we're not just going for a swim. But I don't know where I'm gonna find a crossway, so we'll just keep walking. Well, I need to get to the other side, and there's no clear way. I need to actually go in that direction towards BTS. I want to see that Watt, and there's a park over here, but I'm going to go in the opposite direction in the hopes I can find a way to cross and then walk back. I mean, what's the worst thing that can happen? I'm going to get lost? <laughs> definitely having a laugh at myself today. It's definitely one of those days when things don't go as planned. Now my microphone's dying because, like I said, I forgot to charge it, so... And the other thing is, that park over there that, well, I thought it was a park, obviously they're doing construction and they're dredging. So I don't think I'm going to be crossing over on this side. On second hand, screw it. This will be a nice walk. We'll walk all the way down to the bridge, turn around, and come all the way back. And guys, while I've got a few minutes here, I just wanted to mention something else. A lot of you have been asking how you can support me. The best way you can support me is to like my videos, subscribe, and share them with other people. Several other people kept asking me for memberships or other ways of financial support. I have a buy me a coffee link in the description of each videos, and I've also set up memberships on this channel, which give you different perks depending on which level you join. So if you look down in the description area, uh, under 
underneath each of my videos, you will see a join button next to the subscribe button and you can take a look at it and you can join if you like to. Just check out the roots on these trees. They're literally intertwined with the cement, still growing, still alive. Nature is just amazing. Okay, there's the bridge that, oh no, that is not gonna work. <laughs> oh man, this day is just killing me. Look at this, look at this, look at that bridge right there. That, that's not gonna work. That, that doesn't connect here. I have to swim. Oh man, you know, I don't care, whatever. We'll just keep walking and uh, we'll find another way to cross over. That's, uh, you know, may this be the worst problems I have is getting lost here in uh, Bangkok. Ah, uh, this, this bridge is not looking good. I don't think I can cross over the other side because this is the entrance to a highway. Yeah, I don't even want to be able to cross here. I don't see a pedestrian path. Absolutely not. <laughs> oh, shit. I need to be on the other side. I need to be down there, but there's no way for me to cross, so I might have to walk all the way back. Wow. I'm gonna walk all the way back on this side, cross over to the other side, hopefully check out this watt before my microphone battery dies, before my iPhone battery dies, and well, hopefully I don't die. And yes, we are back at the Ortor Core Market. There are little boats on the other side, and I'm not sure if you can get cross over or not on the boat. I'm gonna wait a few minutes and see if one of the boats comes over and takes me there. Otherwise, we have to continue on and find another bridge. Oh, well, what do you know? The boat's coming over here, so it looks like we'll find a way to cross over without walking all the way to the end. All right, we're gonna try to climb on this thing without falling in. All right. This will be the shortest water crossing I think I've ever done. It's literally like 10 meters, 20 meters. Hey, these guys are making some money. Can't blame them. Tarai cup? Sambat cup. My pen right, cup and cup. All right, so that cost me three Thai baht. I gave him 20, let him keep it. Um, he works back and forth all day, so that's okay. But at least I made it over here, didn't have to walk all the way down, so to me that was worth the extra 17 Thai baht. I think that was a total of what, I don't know, 70 cents US. And now let's continue our journey to, I have no idea where, but oh man, I, I need a bike. I need a bike in my life, look at this thing. Yeah, baby, we can uh, turn this into a, a quarter mile drag bike. What do you guys think? Eh? Eh? You need to follow me on Instagram because I've got two new vehicles, one with four wheels and one with two wheels. There'll be a video about it soon, but follow me on Instagram. Here's the link below. It's at Life with Sergi because I post stuff there all the time that I don't post on YouTube and you will see exactly what I'm talking about in the next few days. Absolutely astonishing temple here. It's closed, but man, it is just so magnificent. It gleams in the sun. The chrome is super shiny. Just really happy that I managed to come through here and at least look at it from the outside. All right, now I gotta find my way to the BTS station, but just in time, my good friend 7-Eleven is here to save me because I've run out of water uh, and I definitely need to hydrate. Oh, let's hope there's some 7-Eleven water. Oh, there is. We're gonna grab two this time. Good old 7-Eleven saves the day again. Well, it looks like I found my way out of the concrete jungle and to the Safun Kwai BTS station. Well, somehow I managed to survive today, found the BTS station, and hope you guys enjoyed that. Didn't get lost too bad today. Uh, who am I kidding? Of course we got lost pretty bad. The microphone's still alive, so at least one thing didn't go wrong. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of a market video, check out my Patava Corn market video here and my latest video here. And as always, guys, please don't forget to take care of yourselves. Bye. <laughs>